Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I am a software engineer, and this is my YouTube series on how to solve the interview preparation kit problems on HackerRank. Today is our first day of going through the array problems. Arrays are very important to learn because they are used on the majority of the interview problems that you'll see. Uh, so let's get started. So today's problem is the 2D array DS. Uh, so given a 6x6 six six 2D array ARR, this, I'm not going to read it out, but you can see it. Um, let me make this just a little bit bigger. Boom. An hourglass A is a subset of the values with the indices following in the pattern in R's graphical representation, where we have three on top, one in the middle, and three on the bottom. There are a total of 16 hourglasses in R, and hourglass sum is the sum of an hourglass's values. Calculate the hourglass sum for every hourglass in R, then print the maximum hourglass sum. The array will always be six by six. Okay, so here we are going to be simply trying to maximize this 2D array, and we wanna go through it as efficiently as possible um, so I think what we're going to try first is the brute force approach. We're simply going to go through and get each of the, uh, each of the hourglasses as they come. So we'll start with, we'll think of position zero, zero here. That'll be our starting position. And then we'll move all the way across and we're going to be needing to go until position four. So we'd be going i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals 3, or i equals 0, i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals 3, and then that would be the final hourglass that we could get out of there. And then we'd go down and then get all the permutations there until we go through the entire array. Other than that, we're simply going to need to uh, move down until our j is at this mark here. So our final, our stopping point will be when j is equal to 3 and i is equal to 3, which is this position here, which would be making the final hourglass in ours. And since we are given, this is always 6 by 6, we could do some things to optimize specifically for this size, but we're just going to try to keep it as simple as possible in our code. Uh, and if it tells us we're too inefficient, then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and increase the size. So we're going to start off with a for loop. Uh, so for int i is equal to zero. Uh, while i is less than four, we are going to go up. And this is bad practice. However, this is a very, since we are, know the dimensions of the array and we're simply trying to solve for this challenge problem, we're gonna go ahead and hard code for now. So we want the first index to be in starting at zero and we want it at zero, zero. So we're gonna have an inner loop for int j is equal to zero. Um, j is also less than four, and we'll be incrementing j as we go through. Um, so that is, oops, control Z. So that is our inner loop. So this would represent position ij, and then we should be able to iterate through this. Uh, we're gonna wanna keep track of what our current max is. So int, um, max is equal to integer dot max. I don't know if it's all caps on the integer or if it's just i and then integer, but I think it's something like this. Oh, we actually want min though. Oops, min. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and do this now. So to make our hourglass shape, we need to go three on the current i throw. Then we go to, we want the position at i plus one and j plus one, which would be moving us over one, down one. And then we want the three on that bottom row. So this will be 
um, I won, I or I won J one, I won J two, I won J three. Then we'd be getting I two J two, then I three J one, I uh, I three J two, I three J three. And then that's how we'll go through the rest of it. So to do that, we already have our double for loop set up, but we want to make sure that we're going all the way across. So we'll break this up. So int top row is equal to um, we'll do what's our array called R. Make this just a little bit smaller so I can see a little bit more at a time. There we go. So we'll have R sub I sub J plus R sub I sub J plus one and plus R sub I sub j plus two. So this represents this top row. And then we have int middle is equal to r sub i plus one sub j plus one. And then our bottom row is equal to r i plus two sub j plus r i plus two sub j plus one plus r i plus 2 and j plus 2. And that represents our bottom row. So then this current, cur, uh, what do they call it? Cur hourglass is equal to top row plus bottom row plus middle. And then if cur hourglass is greater than max, then max set equal to cur hourglass. And we continue on until we get to the very end and we've tried all of the possible permutations. And then we just return max. So we can go ahead and try running this. I might have the wrong notation for min. We'll see. Yes, compiling error. Doesn't know what this is. Um, let's try integer.min. It's something like this. Compiling error, doesn't know what that is. Okay, let's just Google this real fast. Uh, C++ integer min. Oh, it is just int underscore min, all caps. Perfect. I knew it was something like that. There we go. That should work. And we pass all of our test cases. Now let's see if it's efficient enough. Oh, this is taking a second. Might not. Congratulations, we passed. Alrighty. 
So there you have it. That's how you solve the, that is one way you can solve this uh, 2D array DS problem or the hourglass problem. Uh, if this was helpful, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any additional questions as to why this works, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you wanna see more HackerRank challenges solved, please subscribe to this channel because I will be going through the entire interview preparation kit. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.